Hi, this is Brother Richard, and today we're continuing with our lesson series, Prototokos Mystery, Part 311. And our title is The Gospel of the Kingdom. Now, Scripture teaches after the judgment, the beginning of sorrows will proceed. In other words, everything starts with the pronunciation of the Lord in Jeremiah the 30th, the 25th chapter, verse 30. At that point, the beginning of sorrows is initiated across the earth, affecting the whole human race. After the proclamation and the beginning of sorrows initiation, the gospel of the kingdom of God will be proclaimed to all. Turn to Matthew 24, verse 14. You have the beginning of sorrows being proclaimed in verse 8. You have events taking place. Now, in verse 14. It says, and this gospel, this gospel of the kingdom shall be proclaimed in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Why does he say this gospel instead of the gospel? Because the gospel has not been proclaimed in its fullness until this time. The gospel... Yes. Okay. So all the Gospels are all good news. Mm -hmm. But this one is being, he's, he's bringing attention to it because it's better or more more quantitative or, or what, what's the, uh, the inference we're supposed to Well, get? it's a Gospel he gave the disciples and the apostles to, to preach to the world, but they didn't preach the fullness of it. The Gospel that you're hearing today is not the gospel that you're going to hear at this time. The gospel that you hear today is what we be, might be, at best be called a gospel of salvation. It's to get people saved. That, that wasn't the intent. Jesus doesn't even mention salvation. The thing that he proclaimed was repent for the kingdom of the heavens is at hand. That's not preached. It's going to be preached here. So he's right then. It's better news. <laughs> she didn't say it that way, but thank I prefer you. the better news. Yes. The good news, yes. Yes. Is, is that one in our notes too? The Matthew Matthew twenty. Is that everything is there? everything he's saying is, is in here. All the verses are written there. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So the understanding is that at this time, the gospel oh, okay. that was intended to be proclaimed will be proclaimed. Amen. The church don't even mention the name of the kingdom. You do not hear. It's everything is honed on salvation, salvation, so get saved. Well, yes, it's an integral part of the gospel, but that's not the fullness of the intent of the gospel. The fullness of the intent of the gospel is the kingdom of the heavens or the kingdom of God. So in the proclaiming, and I'm saying this because we know that the voice is a unity of temple angels. Mm -hmm. The voice that proclaims this, mm -hmm. my understanding, is mm -hmm. a heavenly counterpart. Where? That one that we spread? 
there's 14. Oh, that's... Because the Lord no longer trusts humans to tell them what he wants them to do. Yes, but it won't be a counterpart. Okay. It will be a... Well, we're going to go into that. I'll give you a scripture That's your answer to everything, Richard. Yeah, yeah. Just, just wait. not me, oh, no. is what the scripture is saying. <laughs> I got lost. But isn't, that's Jesus speaking here, but you're saying in the future when they say the kingdom of God is at hand, repent. That's the, the gospel time. that he's referring to, he's, mm -hmm. saying, he's saying that it's some, he's, the gospel is going to be, be preached at a certain time. He's not the one who's going to be preaching it. He's just talking about the future. Mm -hmm. That's what he's. That's what he means. Yeah, so let's focus on the scriptures here. Well, that's why we're trying to give a running account at, at a time of judgment mm. the earth is going to get wiped out the Lord after that is going to have the gospel proclaimed the way it was intended to be proclaimed so that his people can hear it the way he wants them to understand it Amen. Amen. now having said that let's go on the next principle shows you. Scripture teaches the former world of the Adamic race will lie in ruins at the, this time. Jeremiah, the fourth chapter, verse 23 to 26. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void. In the heavens, they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man. And all the birds of the heavens were fled. Fled? Fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord and by his fierce anger. He's referring to the judgment. has wiped out the Adamic races civilization. There's no metropolis, says we read that last night. The highways are broken down. People aren't traveling anywhere. Mm -hmm. The human race is now a non-sequitur. It does not dominate the earth. It has no progression in the earth. It has come to a standstill because its culture, its civilization, <coughs> its methodology of life has been neutralized. Yes. We read about the journeyman yesterday. Mm -hmm. The journeyman. Will the Adamic man in each region, limited to each region, controlled by the various kings, be able to move around within that region? Or are they, are they physically in their houses and that's it? Well, they're going to be given a their tasks mm. as they serve their gods. Okay. That will de determine where they can go and what they can do. So, outside of that, there's no semblance of freedom to move from here no. to the next no. block or to no. go and talk no. to that friend and no. that's all no, done, no, no, finished, no. over. Total control, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Man is going to be totally enslaved yeah. to the... And, then, and not only that, remember it says the fourth empire is <clears throat> diverse from anything that ever existed before. Man is not going to be controlled the way he's controlled now. Mm. He's going to be controlled supernaturally directly through his spirit by the being that dominates his, the, the influence over the individual. You're going to have a million different ways in which people comprehend life. So then it's not going to be possible to have a thought outside of the control of that influence? No. Not possible at all? No, the, Even though you Not could've. to be able to conceive of anything beyond what you've been limited to by your God. 
perception is completely Total control. domination. Everybody's thought is survival. There's nothing more than surviving. Whatever you got to do to survive. Mm -hmm. I don't think it even goes that far. I'm, I'm thinking that they just think exactly. about what they've been told to think about. They're, they're gonna be yeah, they're going to be. They're, they're, no, they're going possessed. to be. They're absolutely right. I believe that. No, it's not. It's not possessed. They're not. No, they're going to be yeah. motivated for one thing, mm -hmm. and that is worship the that deity. Deity, right? It is a time of paganism. You don't think it's possession, though? Well, no, the deity's there. not in them. The influence is causing that to happen. Yeah, but at some point, some external, I think, demonic force is going to force them. Because yes, I've, I've that's, experienced. That's, that's what Yeah, because I've experienced. But, but he, uh, he's, 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 he's not saying that the oh. force has to be inside the person, which is possession, which you're talking about. Uh -huh. oh. If you could imagine a person on drugs, is he being forced to do anything? Is he being forced to do anything? Well, there's forces. They're, they're probably... No, I'm asking, is, is he, being he being forced to do anything? If he's not, well... What motivates him? His biological... The um, influence of the drug mm, that he bizarre. took. Yeah, the effects of the... Yeah, That's the totality his of his reality. He's so going to be given thoughts, <laughs> and it's not going to be from God. They're going to mm. be from the demons yeah. that are mm. all around. Mm -hmm. yeah. The individual, it's a, it's a type of control that the human race has not been since the time of the gods mm -hmm. has not experienced. Yeah, they're just going to be completely it's enslaved to sin, so it's going to be like they're not even going to be able to control themselves anymore. Like, no. They're not going to be able to contemplate reality objectively. Mm -hmm. Their world is going to be crafted for... Turn to Revelation to 17. I wasn't going to go there, but I want to give you a clarification. I think the one mind when they say that... Thing to the beast. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. Revelation 17. Verses 1 and 2. Okay. And it came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and, 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 the inhabitants of the earth, the human race, have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. The drug-induced individual is a victim of the influence of the drug that he's taken. Sorcery, fornication, uh, spiritual manipulation is what they will perceive of and conceive of. However that has been crafted, that's what the individual is going to be influenced by. There's no possession as such where the individual has a demon inside of him controlling him. They are going to be victimized by the influence of the atmosphere that they currently are in contact with. Coming back to what you just said about the humans not experiencing it since the days of Joshua. Back in those days, the influence was mitigated by white VHN. And, and that's not what I was talking about. I was okay. talking about back in the times before that, when the gods rule mm -hmm. the human race. Okay. Remember, uh, white VH says, don't make any graven images yes. to them. Yes. Don't bow down to them. Yes. Don't do this. Don't do that. Why? Because the the deity dominated the all and all of the individual that he was in contact with. Right. But my point was that the influence this time round at the beginning of Zoros mm -hmm. would be far greater than it was in what <coughs> Most you just definitely. said. Most definitely, yeah. So nobody would have any concept of you know what they're walking into, would they? No. 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 Uh, when the beginning of sorrows takes place, that's the death now mm. for the human race. 
Why you reject God and you're opening yourself up? God's the age of the age of grace. God's grace is preventing all this from happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When people are digging their heels and they want it their way, there's going to come a time the judgment is going to fall on people. And one of the aspects of this judgment is that they're going to be open. They are going to be um, basically <clears throat> no shield against the Luciferian influence. Once these beings are released, that's it. You come in contact with one of these beings, that's it. That's it. Uh, no edict or anything else is going to prevent the individual from coming under the total control of the influence of these beings. All these people running up and down thinking they can behave anyhow they like, think this, believe that, it's up to them, whatever. They don't, they don't comprehend that the Lord has his hand over everybody. Even the most evil has his hand over everybody this time. Right. And the moment that he says, look, I've had enough, I'm removing it. Yeah. Not that he is doing something bad against you. Not just he's no, he's his just taking his exactly. hand off. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's like you you in a rainstorm. You got the umbrella over you, protected from the rain. Oh, you lose the umbrella and bang. It just that happens. I know exactly what that is. <laughs> <the elements. coughs> Let's go Praise back. The Lord. Praise does, the Lord. does that give you a little clarification? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Thank you. Drug addiction, the most... Uh, uh, ingenuous evil drug addiction that you can imagine cannot match this type of influence. Mm. That drug addiction is a spiritual. <coughs> it's not, it's not, people call it it affects <coughs> the soul yeah. of the individual's whole being. Absolutely. I've, I've experienced attacks last night too. I did. I was listening to the blood of Jesus. We played. We've been playing the you know the blood of Jesus or playing Bibles you know at night. But I experienced something. I like, like, I don't know. It's, it's, just, it was experienced stuff last night. I felt like something was. I don't know. I just felt something not good. Well, so I, so I felt myself praying and waking up and praying and waking up and praying like all night like that, and then rising up early and then. I, I did. I did minister to my son a lot last night because somehow he's been friends with somebody. I'm not, I don't want to say too much. Okay. But he's been friends with someone for some time and then gotten to, and I know that he had not, that she had not come to Jesus, and I'm just like, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that's that. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. We'll yeah. pray you strong tonight. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, let's go on. <clears throat> We're showing that after the judgment, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The cities are ruined, desolate. <clears throat> Turn to Daniel, 7th chapter, verse 23. <clears throat> Seven, verse twenty-three. <clears throat> My hands. It's okay. That's all right. No problem. Okay. Thus he said, "The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, which shall be diverse, altered, different from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, tread it down, and break it in pieces." Everything you know about the world today is going to radically change. Everything. The geography of it, the way it operates, the way it looks, is all going to change. <coughs> After the Fourth Empire gets through with it, it won't be recognizable. That's after the rapture, right? No. This is supposed to be before the rapture. Before the rapture. Let's go on. Scripture teaches the world at this time will be dominated by non-human Luciferians 
who will mingle their kingdoms in the midst of a captive humanity. They're going to dominate the human race, section the world off into provinces that they're going to rule. Daniel, the second chapter, verse 43 to 44. <laughs> Where is thou source iron mixed with miry clay? They, they, shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Who is the they? Luciferians. The symbolic uh, description of them as being iron is giving the understanding of the superiority that they have over the clay, the human race. They are as far above man as man is above the amoeba. So these variants aren't the Nephilims? Yes. The word Nephilim means fallen. That's all it means. It can mean anything. A demon can be a Nephilim. The scripture is giving us an understanding. We look at it from the standpoint of what they were created to be. Angelic beings that have fallen. Thrones principalities, uh, uh, ruler angelic beings who are dominating the physical reality for their own benefit. Now, it goes on to say, they'll mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. They're going to constitute five kingdoms. And in these five kingdoms they're going to dominate the surface world and the subterranean world. The human race is going to exist under their shadow from this point until the Lord returns to set up the kingdom of God. Drop down. Again, I'm going to read it again. In the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. This is the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. This is what Jesus preached. Mm -hmm. Wow. Repent, for the kingdom, the kingdom of, of God Jesus. is at hand. You're not hearing this. Christians don't have an idea. I don't have a, a clue as to what the significance of the gospel is. They think it's salvation and then uh, serve God and then uh, wait to see what happens. Because this is so confusing that most people <clears throat> just like read it and just goes boom. Because it's not taught. This is part of what's called the whole counsel of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what Jesus told the apostles to go out and teach all nations. Didn't happen. But let's go on. Now, we said the gospel is going to be proclaimed in all the world. Who's going to proclaim it? Scripture indicates the Father will have the gospel proclaimed by angels at this time and later on during the tribulation period the gospel will be proclaimed again. Why? Because humans have disqualified themselves from proclaiming the gospel and even if they hadn't they couldn't. Nobody can travel around the world at this point to get the gospel to everybody. Turn to Revelation Revelation, 14th chapter, verse 6. I like that. I'm using your teaching. Huh? That's why I said that. It's been so long since I've been in school. Revelation, 14th chapter, verse 6. I'm serious. 
Praise Jesus. Oh my God, made me do something. Everybody there? Mm -hmm. Revelation 14, verse 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Turn back to Matthew 24. Are you going to identify this angel? That's just a regular angel. Who told him? Mm -hmm. Who told him? The Prototokos. Ah, okay. So let me get back to the point. Yeah. All right. Well, the Prototokos is running, basically... Uh, well, no. At this point, the Lord is running everything, because there's no Prototokos. The rapture hasn't taken place. They haven't been rewarded. This is just the beginning of sorrow. Are you saying that the Lord tells this angel? Yep. There's no counter, heavenly counterpart involved. No, this mm. is a regular. And the angels are one of their jobs is a proclamation. Even YHVH is sent to make a proclamation. I just thought that dominion is handed over to the sons of the king of the sons. And the, no, no. At the time of the gathering, they get dominion. Okay. But at this point, they're still in the teacher level. It's a bit too early, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mr. Smith, what was your comment? Well, this is the first time we see the gospel being referred to as the everlasting gospel. Yeah, so mm -hmm. now we already know it's it's been stepped up. But now we're getting a different nomenclature or a different description of it. So can you add something to what I've said? Well, I would say it's always been the everlasting gospel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this and, is the and, first time it's mentioned the way it's spoken. Yes. Is this as a result of the new reality of the beginning of Sorrows? No. Why are we hearing it this way then? Because basically, when Jesus authorized the apostles to teach it and preach it, it was understood this is what it is. Okay. He didn't have to tell them. Right, so they knew. Sure. They just failed to do it. Exactly. Wow. Just like the church has failed ever since that time to do what the scripture tells them to do. So they preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah, that's right. Well, what did the 12 apostles do? They went and, pre and preached the gospel to only the Jews. Passage to the Gentiles, though, didn't he? Hmm? Didn't start to go to the Gentiles, though? He's the only to one. The Jew and to the He's the only one that was not what Jesus said. Mm. Jesus said, you twelve, Paul wasn't even there. He said, you go and you preach the gospel to every creature. Start at Jerusalem, go to Samaria, in every corner of the world. Well, later on they went. Uh, a lot of them died. I think Thomas died in India preaching the gospel or whatever it was. But that was way after the dispensation to, to do it. They were Ten years after this took place, they were still in Jerusalem. Paul is the only one to that took the gospel to non-Jews. Wow. <coughs> okay, Matthew 24, verse 14. In this gospel of the kingdom, of the kingdom, shall be preached in all the world for a witness Unto all nations, then shall the end come. come. The angels preaching the gospel, because the only one that can touch all nations at this point, because the human race is incapacitated. That's what this whole social credit score, they're, why they're doing that whole thing, and buying up all the land so that we're all, you know, they because the rich people buy up all the land, and then they get more social credit scores, so they can go, but we'll be all, like you said, just stuff. Yeah, well, that's, that's the uh, deep state's game plan. Klaus Schwab and uh, George oh, they're Soros they're and that ilk. Uh, well, because they, they actually, they, I don't know. But why, do they all, why do they all do that? Oh, forgive me. I'm just wondering Who what does that? You said that they all do this. Oh, did I? 
You just did that. Oh no, because my I mean no, forgive me. My hand's okay. been hurting. Unfortunately, a back accident, including my hand. <laughs> but God's gonna heal me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 <laughs> okay, let's go on. Scripture indicates at this time. This is where the teachers come in. At this time, the book of Revelation will become available to the Prototokus teachers on earth. Revelation 22, verse 10. Well, Mr. Jones, I got the book of Revelation right here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yes. it's, it's available if you guys want to borrow it. Or I'll, I'll share it. <laughs> Let me copy it. Yeah, well, unfortunately, at the uh, beginning of Sorrows, that won't be the case. Right. How much longer do you think? Um, They're trying to get rid of the Bibles now. I know. In California, they try to. They really have. I, I tried to get a, friend, a Bible from my friend. What? They have. You no. Can't. You can't buy a newly printed Bible in California anymore. Are you sure? Because mm -hmm. I thought that bought that lot in past because I heard they're trying to pack. Okay, they're going to do what? Oh, uh, so they're just going to stop, start stop selling them basically, uh, right? Is that it? Of course. Sure. Nice. Great. Especially when the Pope wants Legislation, to be anything. Legislators are doing that feverishly as fast as they can. Nasty. Yeah. Is that part of the, part of the Pope that wants to rewrite everything? Part of that, right? Oh, they've always been wanting to do that. Watered down the scripture and then totally eliminated. Yeah. Now, yeah, right. Revelation 22, verse 10. Okay. And he saith unto me, Seal not the saints of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Now you have to understand something. John is not on earth. He's in heaven. He is responsible for recording everything he hears and sees in a book. Well, he, he's not going to do that until he gets back to earth. You can't record a book in eternity and come back with it in temporalities. That book stays in eternity. But it's now open. Because the time of the new covenant is established, revelation now can go forth. But there's only a few that's going to even receive, be open to receive it. Now, drop down to verse 18 and 19. <coughs> For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. <coughs> I'm going to ask you a question. <coughs> when do the plagues take place in the book of Revelation? You're asking her or the jet, the group. When do the plagues take? Anybody. Throw away. When the first trumpet and stuff. When the first trumpet blows? Revelation 6. And they've been blowing too. Tribulation period, right? Right. He says, anybody adding mm -hmm. to what's written in this book will experience the plagues. Well, if you lived 2,000 years ago and you added to the book, could you experience the plagues? No. If you lived 2,000 years ago and you experienced the plagues? No, Sorry, I you? said if you lived 2,000 years ago and you added to the book what they say don't do. If you did that 2,000 years ago, would you experience the plagues? If it was already written, yeah. No, you couldn't the because they don't take place until the tribulation period. Oh, How I could you experience it? No, I just thought you meant that hypothetically, like in all time if it said something. But I get what you're saying. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying future. that to prove a point. Oh yeah, I'm going back. I just thought you meant, okay. I just thought you were questioning me as to whether I believe that God's word was sovereign. 
No. So, like, if, if someone did such and such, even back then, would that happen to them? Anything that the Bible would say would happen, it will happen, or has happened. No. What I'm saying yeah. is this principle, the mm -hmm. book that he's talking about does not become available until, until the end of the yeah, age. The age. Yeah, the age, yeah. We're, we're in the... You have a book no of Revelation sense. there that's mm -hmm. not the same as what's referring to this book. So you understand that the end of the age in this context we're, is the Revelation period. Yeah, yes. we're, we're, we're in the end of the age. I didn't know what you meant. I'm sorry. That's all the same. I, I, I get it. You just said it's <coughs> the tribulation period. Mm -hmm. So in this context is what we have to understand. Okay. Yes. Well, and that this is to say that this is not the version of the Revelation that he's speaking of. He's going to explain that in a minute. Yes. The book that he's referring to <coughs> is in eternity. That's where John is. He's outside of time. He has been given authority to send the book to the seven churches. The seven <laughs> churches that he is authorized to send the book to don't exist until the end of the age. At that point, <clears throat> that's when the eternal book becomes available to people. Not to read, but to hear. He said, if any man hear yeah. and add to. Why not read and add to? Because you don't have a book to read from. The teachers alone receive from this book, and they proclaim the truth in this book, and the people hear what's being said. If a person hears and he goes and teaches something that is in addition to what he heard, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the age that he's in, he's going to be Cursed. around when the plagues fall on the earth. He's going to be part of the recipients of the plagues. So all this has to do with the end of the age. The period that we are entering into, called the beginning of sorrows, mm -hmm. The period that we are entering into called the Great Gathering. Revelation. Now, having said that, mm -hmm. the time now comes for the Prototokus teachers Amen. to enter into the picture. The stage is all set. Right. The gospel has been preached. <laughs> the gospel has been preached. What? The gospel of the kingdom. So you've eliminated this stuff that you have now, where you have to deal with people unlearning what they were learned, what they were taught, and you know, try to get through the fluff to give them the meat that they should have gotten years and years ago. That's going to be eliminated. Praise the Lord. They hear the gospel of the kingdom. Everybody, whether saint or sinner, Here's the gospel of the kingdom. You now have access to the eternal book. You can speak the prophecies of the kingdom. Jesus did what? He would proclaim the kingdom. And what would he do after that? He'd go into the temple and teach what he proclaimed. That's what the Prototokus teachers are going to be doing at this time. At this time. Scripture indicates. Excuse me. Yeah. At this time, being the, the time of the beginning period. of sorrows. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I thought you were. When the gospel has gone forth, after the after the judgment is pronounced, the gospel is preached. The door opens now for the prototypist teachers to teach what has sure. been proclaimed. Sure. Can I ask you guys a question? Yeah, sure. Do you think, because I've heard, I mean, uh, do you guys think any of the trumpets have been blown yet or in the process? You don't think so. So what, are pe what do you think people are hearing? You know how you've seen the things where people are hearing stuff? Is that the tectonic plates? No. Or the earthquakes? Or? No. no. We did a lesson on that a while back. Right. So? The, ki the heaven. You remember we talk about there are many heavens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't see them. Mm -hmm. This is a book of prophecy going to happen. Mm -hmm. Has not happened yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You can't Actually, see I them. I understand what the question. You can't see them, but they're there. Mm -hmm. People are beginning to understand that there's something that's there they can't detect. Mm -hmm. They're hearing sounds. Oh, they're hearing 
Uh, they're seeing oh. lights. Right, reality's starting to rip or whatever. Like, and there's actually a physicist that's speaking on that a kid. He said they tore, they ruined. He said they ruined reality as we we've known it before what they've done because they've already brought two or three different types of matter and with that CERN machine, that beast machine, the six 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 or whatever. Yeah, they are. It's really weird stuff. So these done. sounds, which are, since mm -hmm. we're on this just for a moment, so forgive me. Sure, no problem. Are they emanating from? Dimensions within the Earth matrix. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. No, undetectable. That's why they're having more angel sightings. They're having bad sightings. They have lots of stuff. Because you're Cryptids. entering into a new reality. Yeah. And what the veil. The veil is, is ripped, so the yeah. so things are coming through. The cryptids are coming yeah. through. <clears throat> yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> well, let's go on. We got one more principle here. Scripture indicates the Prototokas teachers will enter into their calling, teaching the hearers God's schedule and plan for the establishment of the kingdom. They will be warned of false teachers who will try to deceive them about the Lord's return. Matthew 24, verse 23 to 27. After the Prototokas teachers teach, false prophets, false Christs are going to rise to deceive people into what has been taught. Matthew 24, verse 23 to 27. Then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Now, I'm going to make a proposal to you. If any man says unto you, Lo, here, there is Christ, how do they know about Christ? At the beginning of sorrows, anybody that named the name of Christ would die, would be silenced, would be shut down. They, the Luciferians as soon as they take up residence, are going to try to obliterate yeah. anything dealing with the name of Christ, let alone the followers of Christ. Yeah. How is it that everybody knows now about Christ's coming? They have the gospel being proclaimed. You, you, you. They were taught. You taught the kingdom of gospel to the whole world. Mm. Everybody now knows. And the false teachers have been risen up by the Luciferians to counter this because they couldn't stop it from happening. I was going to say, the very angels that we've just read about proclaimed it at the beginning of Sorrows. <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't enough. Okay, for it to stick. The you know, Luciferian influence could wipe that out if it wasn't followed up with Trust teaching. It. Okay. But let's go on. If any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, the old there, believe it not. For well, there shall arise false Christ, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Amen. This is a result of the Prototokas teachers. 